Welcome everyone to the Anniholic Time Chamber with your host, Jin! And Kay! Hey guys, welcome back to the Anniholic Time Chamber. Today, we're going to be talking about Digimon Cross Wars. Ending up on Nickelodeon as Digimon Fusion. Oh, Digimon Fusion, yay. Yeah, you know what I said about them when I first when we were talking about it back in our episodes back when things were half an hour long or you know but then we realized you guys don't pay attention to that but um, what I was saying before was I have so many issues with the art and the direction that it took but that's not what we're talking about we're just sort of talking about how it's ending up on Nickelodeon you know what let's just give a recap okay guys <laughs> Digimon Cross Wars or Digimon Fusion here for America. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, give me your opinion and then maybe well, I might Well, okay, because here, here's the thing. Nickelodeon picked up DBZ Kai and then subsequently showed, like, all the other Dragon Ball, whatever. And them picking up um, Digimon Cross Wars slash Fusion, whatever you guys want to call it. I know everyone's going to whine. But, uh, like, you know, them picking up Digimon Cross Wars slash Fusion, that's gonna be a mouthful on me, uh, it just sort of makes me feel like, so like, okay, cool, so Nickelodeon's somewhat serious about picking up anime, I guess? It's like, so, in that respect, I'm okay with it. Because- Really? You, well, cause, okay. Really? Okay. okay. Nickelodeon, or, or Disney, who picked up Naruto Shippuden, butchered it to all heck, then put it on a channel that's not easily accessible. Exactly. And then took it off for because God they, knows what. Well, they probably weren't getting as many viewers. Well, yeah, because nobody wants to see a Hidan that doesn't cuss the crap out of things, or or Naruto leaning over because of an aching back rather than a kunai that should be stuck in his back. <laughs> like, yeah. editing problems, you know? Like, that's... So it's a lot. It's in, a lot. In the technical aspect, I guess I'm okay with it. You know, it's like, yeah, ideally, I would have liked it to land on Cartoon Network. But at the same time, is Cartoon Network making a really big fight for anime? It took, like, everyone and their mother going online to say, hey, bring Toonami back for Toonami to be brought back. And even then, we got, like, all these really old shows at first. And granted, they're, like, trickling in, like, newer stuff. But it's still kind of forced, you know? Yeah. So... I, I mean, like, and, and that's like the result of a bunch of people saying, it's like, no, you need this. We are going to watch this if you put it on there, which is great. But Nickelodeon is like, honest to God, they're like, okay, so people like this stuff. Let's put it on there. And I think, I mean, <laughs> it, like, I want to think that it's someone at the network genuinely saying, it's like, anime is a good thing. Let's put it on here. You know, because I, I want to think that. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. But you also have to think, is this going to really peak up at all? I don't know. Do you know what I, I mean? Because like, okay, you've had anime on, you know, children's networks before. Mm -hmm. Disney. <laughs> Disney. For example. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they don't get it right, you know? Do, do you Come, expect them to? I would expect them to have a higher quality. It's Disney! Disney. Okay, that, I guess, but... <laughs> there we go. Okay, there's the argument. No, it's Disney. That's the thing. You know, they have a bunch of money to spend on like great voice acting. They're or... not going to. Exactly. That's the thing. Well, now will Nickelodeon do the same? Well, will they? But... Do you know what I mean? Like, will they okay. go out of their way to spend enough money to make this show actually look really, really good? Even though, in our well, opinion, that it really very... just depends on the marketing. I think. I don't know. Marketing and it's like are they going to sell it as it's like okay here have have another show and it's an anime and You I mean, know we, like we already had one anime which was DBZ Kai again. That is on what Nicktoons Network. Uh-huh Rarely do we see that ever show on the, main, on the actual on the main channel. Network? Yeah, okay. so again, it's one of those channels you have to pay for through like, you know Verizon Files, Uverse, whatever, you know cable network you have is it gonna be worth it? Direct TV. Okay. Well, <laughs> Direct TV. I'm sorry. I'm I'm leaving out Dish Network no, and Time Warner. I'm sorry. Like you, okay. <laughs> I don't know what else. Comcast. I don't know anymore. Anyway, the main thing is. So not not like it's not actually as accessible as exactly we're making it out to be. Yeah. Okay. So 
how will that affect, you know, the whole the whole the scheme viewership? of things? You know, because like, okay, N Nicktoons Network. What do they play? They they play Avatar. They play Avatar. They play sure. DVD Kai. They play <laughs> like some older Fairly Odd Parents. You know, stuff like that. Like, and and that's the thing. Nickelodeon is really good at keeping their like the things that they know are good yeah. on their network. Exactly. Cartoon Network, we're talking to you. What about Young Justice? And you know, all of that. It's okay. It's a new year, guys, by the way. It's still a new year, and I'm sorry for Young Justice. Get back to the topic. Get anyway, back to, back to uh, Digimon. <laughs> so, to be honest, I, I don't think this will work out uh, fairly well, you know? That's my prediction. Why? Because it's on a different network where you have to pay an extra monthly subscription just to get. And, you know, how much are they going to invest in this? Are they going to make it, you know, scream out uh, like Avatar? Or are they going to make it like fall like every other cartoon they've tried out within the last, what, five or six years now? Mm -hmm. I mean, because, like, you know me, I want, I want to be optimistic about this. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm gonna say it's like, uh, I hope to god it goes somewhere and hopefully this will lead into more anime. Whether it's kid- kiddy animes or not, I want to see more anime on TV. Um, so th that's- that's my thing. I'm- I'm hoping for the best. I'm, I'm hoping for the best too and I hope it does jump onto the actual main network. If it has, if it's not already been announced to be on the main network. Okay. So. No, well, I don't know, because uh, that's the general news. It's like, okay, Nickelodeon picked it up, and yeah. and but let's now see where Digimon goes. Yeah. I kind of hope this kind of like segues into uh, the older Digimon show, because because the older Digimon seasons uh -huh. have recently started like that whole process where it's making its way onto DVD and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's kind of coming back in the oh yeah we're gonna circulate the uh, products again so it, i'm just i'm just hoping I don't, i'm kind of being a little i think i will admit this is a little too optimistic but i want older digimon stuff to come back so do you think that nickelodeon could pick up those older digimon too like the since okay i think you already know that bandai america has been out of the game now for over a year for yeah it's you just know? been like a year yeah and a month so, <laughs> you've been counting. I've been counting. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so you know, with them out, you know, obviously mm -hmm. Digimon is up for grabs for anyone. Mm -hmm. Are they going to keep the same quality that Bandai gave during the first three seasons? I'm only counting three. <laughs> for the obvious reason. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like four. I'm sorry. And five and was on Disney. So four was kind of on Disney. Well, actually, it was on UPN, yeah. and then it circulated like went. That's on why to it, Disney exactly. So anyway, do you think? Well, this will... I mean, because the network's not to blame for the quality of the show, if that's what you're talking about. No, it's, it's not just... the quality of the show. I'm talking about like voice acting, how they're doing the whole thing, how they're gonna present it. Well, the everything. voice acting that's purely a, a, like whichever studio or whichever um, group picks it up. That's the only issue with it. Okay. So. It's gonna be like they're testing the waters with this, assuming like whichever group picks it up, you know, if they don't bring like other voice actors back. Because that's common. Like in in season four, they had the guy who voiced Matt from season one and two come back to voice Takuya, and they had like all these other people who are used to like being in the Digimon series come back for that one. And I know in season five it was kind of a little less because Quentin Flynn voiced the main character and. Crispin Freeman was right next to him. So it, it just really depends. Are they, like, it depends on if they think old school will be worth investing in. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah. Anyway, so that kind of wraps it up for, uh, for us on Annie Holic Time Chamber. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think about Comments. Digimon. Comment uh, and like and make fun of me, you know, Yeah. because I'm so never here. <laughs> let us know what you guys think about uh, Digimon on uh, Nickelodeon. Or what have you and whatnot, and just comment, favorite, subscribe, like. You sound so depressed about this. I feel like I'm the uh, glass. I'm sorry. I'm the glass just... half full, and you're just straight up. The water in the glass is poison. <laughs> this is what you sound like right now. You sound so so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am just not really for this. Okay, but, okay. okay. That's I will just respect my that. Okay. I mean, again, you know, the marketing and everything just. Yeah. Just, okay. Oh well. We've already. 
kind of broke it down. For whatever me. happens, happens. Oh. But whatever happens, leave your comments and uh, look forward to seeing our next episode. Uh, and we'll see you next time. FYI, Soul Eater is coming back to Car is coming to Cartoon Network. Oh yeah, every, like for well, those of you that are still Saturday. kind of into the whole, like still keeping track of Toonami at least in terms of scheduling and whining about like older stuff. You know, yeah. Soul, uh, Soul Leader is going to be replacing Samurai 7, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. once Samurai 7 ends. So look forward to that. That, and then also look forward to next week. We are going to finally be bringing out our next top 100 set. Video. Of 10. <laughs> so uh, look forward to that. And we'll see you guys next time. Good night, everyone.